Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Community Channel and in this video we will set up a Maven based Karate framework using Karate hyphen code dependency. But before we start, we need to understand some points. The first point, what is the minimum Java version we require for Karate framework? So if you read the official documentation of Karate framework, it says that if you are a Java developer, Karate requires at least Java 11 and then either Maven or Gradle. So first answer we got, we require Java 11 or more. And also we need to use Maven or Gradle to set up the project. And also we have some dedicated IntelliJ plugin for Karate. So the major confusion for beginners is that whether they should use Karate hyphen core dependency or they should use Karate hyphen JNU dependency. If you read this line here, all you need is available in Karate hyphen core artifact. You can run test with this directly, but teams can choose the JUnit variant. So here I have one Karate hyphen JUnit 5 and we have Karate hyphen core. So we can use either dependencies. In this video, I will focus on Karate hyphen core and in the next video, I will cover Karate hyphen JUnit 5. So before we start, make sure that you have installed minimum Java 11 and I am going to use the IntelliJ. Since we have some official plugin for Karate framework for IntelliJ, I am going to install that. If I click on this link, official IntelliJ plugin, it takes me to a JetBrains page and it says that we have a plugin named Karate itself. And if we use this plugin, we'll see some dot feature file association, syntax coloring, code formatting and all. So let me install this plugin in IntelliJ. To install the plugin, go to file, go to settings. Here we have option called plugins. Go to marketplace and search for Karate. Let me install and it will ask me to restart the IntelliJ that I will do. So IntelliJ is restarted. If I go to file, settings, plugins installed. Here we can see that Karate is installed and it is enabled. Now let's create a basic Maven project. For that go to file, new project. Since Karate requires minimum Java 11, so I am selecting Java 11 in project SDK. Click on next. Here I need to give some name to the project. So I have given Karate code demo. Let me click on finish button. So here you can see that basic maven project has been created without any dependencies so first thing i need to add karate hyphen code dependency for that i will go to maven center repository and i will copy the dependency from there so once we reload the maven project if you expand the external libraries here you can see that it has downloaded all those transitive dependencies as well which will be required for the karate framework after adding the dependency of karate hyphen core we need to create the feature file but before we create the feature file we need to understand some basic points here if you are using cucumber in your selenium project or SSO project so generally dot feature files we keep in resource folder of maven but in karate framework they say that we should keep the feature file in src test java. Do not keep that feature file in resource section. So if you read this folder structure section of official karate github page, then it says that why we should keep our dot feature file in src test java. And when we keep our dot feature file in src test java, we need, then we need to do some changes in build section also. That we'll see later. I'm going to keep the feature file in src test java. So let me create a package and I will name it as airline. Inside this package, I will add a feature file. Create airline dot feature. So you can see that Karate symbol is coming for this feature file. This is possible because we have installed the Karate plugin. I am going to use the instant web tools dot net APIs. Here under the fake API, we have some REST APIs. Like if you want to create the airline, if you want to get the airline data and all. So sim APIs I have used for my REST assessor series. So here we have endpoint. Bottom we have request payload. And this is a post call. In the Karate framework, we do need to create the state definitions. They have already created the state definitions. So we need to use those steps. Like in a normal project, we create the feature file. We generate the state definition. We write the code and then that step we can use in whatever feature file I want to use. But in the Karate framework, state definitions are already written. We need to create the feature file with those steps. So let me use 
feature keyword and I will name it as like create an ALI. I need to add the scenario. So to perform the API testing, first thing we need to pass the API endpoint. So for that, we need to use the given keyword and thus step start with the URL. Here you need to pass the API in double quotes or single quotes. Second thing, we need to pass the request body that also start from given. So let me use the end and here to pass the request body, we need to use request keyword. Let me copy the request body. If I pass this payload like this, then it will be a problem because it is expecting you to pass the payload in the same line. We can pass in multiple lines as well, but that I will show you later. So what I am going to do, I will convert this multi-line payload into a single line. So for that, I can use any online tool. There is no need to pass the payload in double quotes. So we pass the API, we pass the request payload. Third step, we need to say that which HTTP method. This is a post call. So I need to use when and we have a step starting from keyword method. Here we need to pass which method. So it is a post call. So I need to pass post. Once API is hit, it will give me some status code. And as of now, I am just going to validate that status code. So for that, I need to use then and we have one step starting from status So status 200. That's all we need to do. We no need to write the step definition for these because the steps are already written. It's like full fledged framework. Now let me run this feature file. To run this feature file, you need to right click then select the run create a line dot feature. So you can see that it has run the feature file. We have only one scenario and if you come down, it is saying that we had expected 200, but we're getting 400 result we know because we have not changed the ID. So let me change the ID and rerun the feature file. So this time test case is passed. Creative framework has inbuilt reporting and logging. So if you click on test results and go at the bottom, you will see that it is giving you the link of report, which is HTML report, which is generated under the target folder. Click on this and here you can see that it has done this feature file. Inside this feature file, we have one scenario, which is passed. If you want to see the log, so for that you need to go to target. Inside target, we have created .log file. Since we have executed our feature file twice, so you can see that first time we got 400. So it is logging that part. And when we change the ID, so that time we got successful creation and that time test case was passed. So that is logged here again. So in this logger file, they print that what is the API, what was the content type, what was the request body, everything it prints. We'll see about this logger file more in upcoming videos, but it generates report and logger for you. There's no need to write any extra code. So this is the way we can set up a Karate framework using the karate hyphen codependency. But if you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe, and share with others. Thank you, everyone.